So here we have the process to rename files. And first of all, we open the property updater and it reads in the folder that you want to work with. If not, you can go browse and select a different folder. Um, so we have a number of tools in here. So I'm going to select this one that I want to rename. And I'm just going to take um, a new name on there and go update. So that updates the document number and um, the field that I'm going to use is this new file name as the um, things that I need to overwrite and copy the document number into the new file name field. So that puts it in here and then from there I can either do a, um, a copy test run or I'm just going to go rename in this instance. So that goes through and basically that picks up the um, files that we have selected to be renamed and that then just sort of goes through the process of opening Solid Edge um, or Design Manager and pulling out the information that we need and that then just sort of builds up a list of um, files so it's doing a where used and um, effectively it's um, going to tell me where that file is used so it's looking in draft files it's looking in part files or assembly files and at the end of it we see this list so it's sort of um, leveled out level one being the part we've selected and it's telling me that it's copied that to its new name it's also found that it's in this assembly so it's replaced it within there so that's the um, first assembly it's found in then it's also found as a part copy and it's been replaced in that part copy that part copy has a um, sorry this part has a, part, a draft file as well so it then um, one of the things I had ticked was that it, it should rename the draft file so it's copied that and substituted the new part for the old part and then it's gone through and it's going through and um, found all the higher level assemblies and it's gone in and opened up them and done an update <clears throat> so um, you can see here it's also picked up a draft file um, so with that it's going in opening up the um, draft file updating the views and saving so it's um, all finished so we can close that out so as you can see we've got this rename draft file name to match rename part or assembly um, i've got that ticked if we turn it off it's not going to rename the draft it will just update the value within it and if you want to come back and see the log file it's it's put it out to a text file as well so it's just the same as what was in that main list so that's how we can do a rename um, on um, part files.